Hello everybody, welcome back. So I wanted to go back here specifically so that we can climb fucking Shambhala over there. So we're gonna go ahead and see what that place looks like now because I've done everything but that in this area now. I thought this is going to lead me the way forward to where I needed to go, but I was lied to. I was cheated and lied to. You got this, Louie. Sorry, I got distracted there because I heard voices behind me. Like, actual voices in my house. Uh, we're gonna do that. And then murder the rest of these dudes. Or they're already taken care of? Alright, that's fine. Come here, buddy. There's really no reason at all that I need to go over here and go out of my way to kill these stupid lost, but I'm doing it anyway. Here I am, being the dumbass, doing it. Alright, so this is all cleared out. There's literally no reason for me to do this, because I'm trying to lose all of these souls that I have, because I don't need them. I'm trying not to be, like, super beefed right now, but I think I'm going to save them anyway for an expensive gift. Ooh, there's a chest back there. Which means it's probably a trap. Nope, we're good. We're good. What do we have here? Zweihunda! Plus one. Yeah, but you have to make sure that every single time that you're talking about a Zweihander, you gotta say it the proper way. It is Zweihunda! But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go up here now. Oh, there's... No. Not right now. We're gonna wait a second here. Wrong thing to do. Well, that's enough buffs. That was the wrong thing to do. I, I meant to do the bottom buff for damage. So you don't want to be on a bridge like this against stuff like that. I've played Dark Souls 1. I know how that works. I've fought silver ar archers on a banister before. Never again. Louie, please don't fall off right now, bud. Please follow me. Thank you. There. Now you've been punished. Oh, I, I didn't need to do that. I thought Louie was dead. That was also not the right direction to dodge into, but we're fine. I almost threw myself off a ledge. But I suppose... Oh, okay, right, 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 right. That was what I needed over here. I thought that was back where we just came from. I was like, how the hell didn't I see that? Like, you saw the placement of it, right? Like, it looked yeah. like it was over there. Okay, so that is the last hunter vestige I needed. And we'll talk about vestiges when we get there, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully by this point you saw the quick crash course that I did in between videos, if you're new. If you're not new, then alright, whatever, no big deal. But for those of you that are new, I really hope that you looked up the information somewhere, because I just... I'm going to get so sidetracked trying to talk about it that it's just not going to really get anywhere. I assure you, I get very drawn out of where I need to be when I'm talking about things and I just get thrown on a complete fucking tangents. It is a problem of mine. That was not a good place to fight her. Probably shouldn't have done the thing that I did there, but I guess... Still had a positive result, am I right? You... Okay, now this guy needs to get stabbed in the butt. Cinematic unnecessary, but uh, totally happened anyway. All right, you can torch him too afterwards, fine. You know, I'd like to do something, Louie. Ah, son of a bitch, all right. There you go, go do something. All right, Mildred, let's do it. Okay, I'm much better at these backstabs on this lady now. Boom. And now we're pretty much all the way back up to the top of the uh, Icor. Nightclaw plus one, huh? That is a different 
blood veil. An ogre. I think ogre are all claws, but... Huh. That is not one I'm familiar with. We're going to swap to it really quickly, though, and it's quick mobility. Ooh, that's cute. That's why it's the blood veil that allows you to do it. That do the... Okay. I like that a lot, actually. So I actually may swap to this. I may swap to it just for that reasoning alone, because I wanted that dodge. That's what it is. It's down to the blood veil. It also might just be, you know, your weight, too, but... Either way, I can dodge the way that I want to. And I agree with you, by the way, to, you know, go back over to that one that I totally glanced over. It is very cute. Hello. Alright, um... I fucked that one up a little bit. I mastered a gift. Dude, this continues further this way. How long what the hell is going on? This was a park, wasn't it? This place always feels so lonely. How would you know? You never I, get through here. I know, right? The directional audio is not that great, unless it's just because I don't have one speaker in on my headphones. That might be why. It should have been coming out of the right speaker. Because uh, I didn't like how I just straight didn't hear him. This is just what we need. Perfect. I also thought we were going to go in there, but I guess not. Oh, cool. There's a ladder. So now we have two completely different areas to go because this expanded even further than I expected it to. I don't know, Chell. Where do you think? Up here or should we do the water? Up here. All right. Let's do it. Dear fuck. There's also a vestige down there. I want it. That's no. Ow. Who hit me? Oh, he threw something? Did he throw something at me? Is that what happened? Maybe. Thank you, Louie. And you're dead. Okay. I don't know how many times she's gonna walk upstairs and just yell, but anyway. That being said, let's push forward. Alright, so we got Big Bertha guarding a vestige. We're gonna go for that one, absolutely. But let me see what's over here. Oh, that I know looks what this like a is. boss. It is a boss, because I freaking helped somebody in this game literally just the other day and accidentally wound up throwing myself at a boss fog that I wasn't prepared for, which is this. So, we're not going in there. We are most certainly not going in there, and that is actually not a mistle. This is just a map. The mistle was earlier. I should know this. That'd be way too soon for another one. We should avoid fighting that enemy. I love how he says that, by the way, and I'm like immediately like... I really shouldn't have done the thing I did there, but I did it anyway. Yeah, bud, you get her. I've got some pretty powerful shots so far. Ooh, yeah, that's for you, Louie. That's what that is. I find a you vestige. Fuck yeah! I guess we explore the rest of this area before anything else, then, because, uh... Yeah, I think that's about everything that we need there, but um, let me also swap my gift around. Two items left nearby. Perfect. While well, they are being used. Alright, there we go. Back over to this gift. Now we use the fucking ladder. And there's an ambush. Oh. No ambush. Yes. That car is going to fall on my head. I thought that story was going somewhere. Was it me? Yeah. <laughs> this car is going to fall on me. Damn it. Well, it was a nice panty shot, at least. 
I actually can't kick that down yet. Probably until I get the boss done. Where am I on the map right now? Up here. Wow. All right. Yeah, you're not kidding. So, yeah, that leads somewhere. Yeah. Was there anything behind Mildred? Yeah, so that's going to be your name now, Mildred. Not sure. But we're 100% going the other way first before that boss, just because I know what's the other way and I want to meet that other character. No, there was nothing over here. All right, cool. So we're going to uh, go back to the Mistal and teleport back to the water area then, and we will go ahead and clear that spot. And also bring in those um, vestiges. Oh, that too. I'll cash in the vestiges while we're here. While well, we're on camera. Where are the cameras? Please fill me in, Chelsea. Where? What, what was that from? You know exactly what I'm talking about. That was somebody in something that used that exact line. It was like a, like a movie Duchess. star kind of character in something. Probably Duchess. It wasn't Duchess, because she had like the annoying old lady thing about her, but like she literally sounded like that. She kind of was like a, like a, what's the word that I'm looking for here? Kind of almost a Lady Gaga-y kind of person. You know what I mean? Probably My Little Pony then. It might have been, been a, it might have been a My Little Pony character, but I don't watch My Little Pony. I don't think it was in it. Did. Yeah, it could have been something that somebody showed me. That's not like a me denial thing, by the way, either. Those of you guys who are bronies out there who watch this and stuff and watch my channel, no shade at you. My best friend was a pretty big brony, so I can't really shit on him that hard in any way, shape, or form. It's just not for me, you know? Louis looks like he's about to get into a showdown with Coco right now. We don't know why your blood can activate missile and blood springs. However... There's a medicine made from the Queen's blood which has the same sort of effect. This is only a hypothesis, but your blood might be related to the Queen's chaps. Somehow. Her or me? Her. We can head out whenever you're ready. I've got a whole new line of stock in, thanks to my Herculean efforts. But seriously, you've made my job a whole lot easier. At least the front, you notice that it's if slit, you want right? It, yeah. Yeah, you're uh, you're not wrong. This bound can be cut off at will by its owner. Oh, it's a marker, so you can. All right, that actually is really useful. Not gonna lie, that actually is really useful. Mm -hmm. I just had an issue trying to. You can just straight buy Queen Iron. Wow. I think you're obviously limited on how much you can get. I think it's how many I have. No, you currently have three. Yeah, all right, so there is a limit. Which is exceptional. Uh, well, acceptable. Yeah, Hello, EO, I have a job for you. So this is our vestige waifu, for those of you who do not know, and uh, this is what you do to give v oh, vestiges to. Because she will basically allow us to unlock our blood codes even further to be able to access other skills on them by giving vestiges to her. And it'll allow us to get into the memory of the person who owns that blood code, because they're all attuned Kevin was a boy who had been yeah, to Kevin, for example. That was why he said that. It wasn't him that said it. It was the vestige that said it, Chels. Mm -hmm. I know. I thought it was him. When I went to see him, he was nowhere to be found. His dwelling had been torn apart. I heard everything from someone who said they knew Kevin. A few days earlier, a reverend had attacked him and turned him to ash. The attacker was after the blood beads I gave Kevin. Yeah, so he died then because of the blood beads that Coco gave him. 
And all that. Essentially. Not that Coco gave him. Well, he was attacked over it, at least. He was attacked over the ones that Louie was giving him all the time. Oh, okay, so he was also just given. Alright. Thought it was over that little thing earlier. There's a little bit of lore on Kevin as well earlier. That I could save him just by giving him blood beads. That it would be enough. But I lacked true commitment to his survival. And in the end, that's what killed him. I appreciate your kindness, but it's unnecessary. It is what it is. I won't let myself forget again. Should have asked about the hunter then. Alright. But yeah, that's what that is right there. Every blood code is attuned to a certain person. So, like, Prometheus, that is what we got right there. We got a Prometheus vestige that we just looked into. That is uh, Louis' memories, essentially, that we're digging through. And then Kevin is the owner of the hunter blood code. And that's what we're going through every single time that we do this stuff. That That is... That is indeed how this works. Oh, you can turn that off. Interesting. Alright, no matter. Okay. What is it? Yes. So we're gonna restore that other vestige that I have now, and that one is alright, another Prometheus vestige. I think I need other Yeah, I need other parts of other vestiges, that's why. Too many people keep revenants as thralls these days. Stay safe and watch yourself. Um, my name is Kevin. I could give you a hand with whatever. I'll see you. Here's what I was able to bring. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I do this because I want to. Don't worry about me, right? Tell me if I can help with something. I'll do whatever I can for you. Hey, it's not like amazing over the top storytelling, but it, at least for me, it hits me in the right spots. It's effective.
Hmm. We're gonna go and talk to Louis, I think. Can you do his last thing now that you did the Prometheus one? That's a possibility. Oh, you mean his abilities? No, um, restore the last bit of. No, it, it would show you if you could do it. I just need a hunter vestige oh, you two need apparently, his where I need the B, because I got to do that one before I view it. It even doesn't let you view it until you view the other ones. I like that actually. Oh shit! You can um, eternal blade dance, dude. It allows you to um, it allows you to unlock the thing when you get it. Like you know what I mean by that, right? Power. I think it lets you master it when you get that. That's a good thing to know. Because I do like Blade Dance. Something up? Surprised to see someone from the government at the base? We aren't fighting again, though. We don't condone it. Fact, yeah, I already go got this cutscene anyway. Alright, cool. So, that's that. Um, and that's where I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode for now, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the next part. Take it easy.